from wherever you are watching this video, just turn around and look. How many things are there in which steel is used as a raw material? You may be shocked. From small nails, keys, utensils or locks, to mobile phones, cars, trucks and airplanes, steel is used in everything. Now think about it. If steel prices rise, then its impact on our cost of living will reach us through a lot of routes. Inflation is also rising. Not just consumers, even producers are tense. Bigger the proportion of steel in raw materials, the more trouble. Let us take an example of Aligarh. This city is known for making locks. 80% of locks in India are made here. The increase in steel prices has put locks on the doors of many factories. Vinayak International Head Saurabh Saini says that last year the price of steel sheet was below 200 rupees per kg and now the prices are above 300 rupees. In the production of lock, iron or steel comprise 70% of total inputs. The cost of raw materials has increased by 30 to 35% but the prices have increased by just 7%. This is why, if factories raise prices more than that, then demand will decrease and they won't survive in this competitive industry. That's the reason small producers were unable to handle this and have gone bankrupt. Saurabh gave a rough estimate that if you don't have a turnover of at least 50 lakhs, then it's very difficult to survive in this business. This is the story of Aligarh, but it depicts the pain of the whole country. Now let us understand why steel prices are shooting up. Well, Russia and Ukraine have combined production of 100 million ton steel annually. Out of that, 37 million is exported. This is 8 to 9 percent of global trade. Due to the war, supply from these countries has declined and prices have skyrocketed. In the domestic market, the average price of steel is 70,000 rupees per ton and there is also 18 percent GST on it. The average price of last year was around 40,000 rupees. Besides the fall in supply, price hike in coal and iron ore has also increased input cost for the companies. In the production of steel, coal has 40% contribution. Prices of coal have increased by 34% in March. This is also due to Russia, which is the third biggest coal producer in the world. The maximum amount of coal in the market comes from Australia. Even there, the supply got affected due to floods. For making steel, iron ore is melted and its impurities are removed. And prices of iron ore are also increasing. NMDC has increased the prices of iron ore three times this year. NMDC is the biggest supplier of iron ore in the country. So even though Russia is currently bombing Maripol, its heat and shock waves are being felt across the world, including India.